The study of memory can be traced back to early 20th century, when a German biologist Richard Semon coined the term engram, referring to lost in physical changes in the brain that occur after learning or experience. He envisioned that once formed, the engram, whatever it is, becomes dormant and can be awakened by similar experiences or parts of the original event. This reactivation is what we experience as memory recall. But notice that the original phrasing in Salmon's definition is very vague. It doesn't really tell us anything about the biological nature of these lasting changes. Information about experiences is encoded as synaptic changes in sparse arrays of neurons known as memory traces or engrams. The sparsity of engrams is highly conserved and is kept at optimal values through a kind of a competition where most excitable cells are preferably chosen to be recruited to the memory trace. Activation of these chosen neurons is both necessary and sufficient for memory recall, and by manipulating the activity of these cells, we can evoke memories, delete them, and even create a new memory in the absence of experience. Engrams are believed to be scattered throughout the brain, encoding different aspects of each experience like pieces of a puzzle. And multiple engrams can further become linked by sharing some of their neurons. This linkage, applied to a multitude of different individual memories, is likely to underlie abstraction and general principles of learning.